don't get mad, I done messed up Keisha head. Swear to God, done messed it up. Look, I went into the gym. Keisha spent all day doing my hair. Do not blame her. It's me. Hell, I'm still trying to drive from the gym after I took a shower. You know what I'm saying? And being in my 40s and everything, you know, it take a long time for me to get dry. You feel me? Everything just moist and wet just everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take a little bit of time before I get this uh, wine in me because it's going to make me hot too. Hey, y'all! What's going on? Let me get this started. I forgot Teddy, but I'm sorry. I'm bring him next week. I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise. Remember, moderators, no blocking. Okay, we grown over here. Uh, but you do have to subscribe to comment or hate. <laughs> Either one. So, listen, we need it all. Um, full show for y'all. I love when I go to the gym before the show. It's like it get in my heart. Yeah, I need, I'm going to start doing that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Instead of in the morning, I'm, I'm going to do it right before the show, and I'm going to come in here wet. <laughs> I'm going to let Prince cool me off, all right? As I said, who we going to be talking about? And White Wine, Brian Johnson, Terrence uh, uh, Southern. Y'all don't know them, but you're going to get to know them tonight, okay? The Obamas. Michelle Obama out here saying y'all don't know how to be married. That's why y'all are not getting married, okay? Let me spin on that. <laughs> mm. Okay, also, we're talking about the YSL lawyers. They are getting strip searched. All right, also, um, cisgender versus transgender women, okay? We got a conversation about that. JT is now dating a trans woman. We're going to be discussing that. Kenya Moore and Mark Daly, still not divorced, as long as me and my sister-in-law have been in court, okay? Also, Hazel E. and Devon is giving substance abuse, okay? Just giving. I don't know if what substance is involved, but it's just giving some, tort of, some sort of substance, okay? And so whatever context that is, y'all fill in the blank. Also, Erica Dixon, Scrappy, and Bambi, we got some exclusive information on that. Uh, move that down to the bottom along with JT and uh, uh, who you got at the bottom? Who you got at the bottom? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, put Derek Jackson, you know what I'm saying, JT. I know it's a lot, Jasmine. We got to get this shit done before 9 p.m. Before we he head on over to Tasha K. Live, our kind, we got a lot going on here. Blueface has disowned his mama, so she now has two kids instead of three. Tokyo Tony is crying for her one and only child to come back. Also, uh, NLE Chopper has responded to Marissa and these, uh, these plant baby uh, uh, allegations and things like that. And uh, more is so much more. I can't even go through it. Okay, y'all will just not be disappointed tonight. YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna do a Tasha K Lifestyle uh, dot com tonight on YouTube and everywhere else that we're streaming. Okay, and also we have a special edition interview that we're live streaming. I'm gonna be streaming it. It's not gonna go live. I mean, it's not gonna you know release. It's gonna go live, and I'm gonna be in a chat, and y'all gonna be able to chat in real time during this interview, because I think it's imperative that you hear everything. And when I say everything, I mean every damn thing. I think I should join the feds because I have just cracked another case, okay? I literally hate that. I, I don't even be trying to crack cases and stuff like this, but this particular situation, it just, it, you know, at first I was all good, but then something just told me it didn't sit right in my spirit, okay? And I'm going to explain to you why when we get on TashaKLive.com because a lot of folks are going to get triggered, but while we are waiting for more folks to come in here like video, uh, you know, like the video, subscribe, share, whatever it is that you do. We're going to run what it is that we're going to be streaming directly after this here live stream on TashaKLive.com tonight directly after this show, okay? Viewer discretion is advised, but I tell you, if you with all the, the, come, come see about it. Come see about it. Here it go. Here it go. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means Bully Razor Glass, so we'll be right back. Let's go. Now, you all know that I frequent restaurants quite often because I don't cook. I don't have time to cook. And one day, I frequented a restaurant and ordered a milkshake. I don't know why I was craving it, but I was. I informed the server that I had a peanut allergy. And to my surprise, she brought me my strawberry milkshake, and then my throat started to close up. Why? Turns out they used the same blender to make my strawberry shake that they had made a peanut peanut butter shake on before they made my shake. Of course, I had a severe allergic reaction. At the time, I was uninsured, still uninsured, and I couldn't afford to pursue a lawsuit at all. I ain't got it. I knew that I needed to do something, and I had to think fast. Had I would've known about Morgan & Morgan, I would've been the first person on their website. 
I could have went to their website and found out that they had reformed the injury law process. You can check them out at ForThePeople.com or press pound 529. It was your ex-husband whom you believe you contracted HIV from. I did. Okay. And so, and that is no no question about that. He was the one that gave it to you. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he was sleeping with your father. Yes. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to go all the way back because that's a lot. That's a lot. And you're only 26 years old. When I was young, my mom was married into a family. I didn't really know my dad. My dad went to prison for touching on other people's children. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, okay. so he, is he a registered sex offender? Yes, he is. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, the fact that he's a bishop, and they were still like poking at him because he's a bishop and he's a registered sex offender and he's still a bishop. So when I say somebody believing in incest, meaning that they know that's their niece, they know that's their cousin, they know that's their children, and they sleeping with them. Okay, so the cousin, he never penetrated you vaginally? Only my butt. What? And my mom, and God bless dad, my dad, um, they took me to my first appointment in Jacksonville. And I'm thinking, I'm just, you know, going to check on baby. And this is the first grandbaby, so everybody excited. So by my mom being a prophet, it's like she knew something. And I didn't realize it until now. Mm -hmm. But when looking back at my photos, I was, like, really skinny. And I've never been skinny in my life. You know, you were told that you were HIV positive. They didn't request that your husband come in to get tested because normally they tell you to notify all your partners. Did you tell him to come in and be tested? No, I just immediately got the police in because he told me he had it and he had it for many years. When did he tell you he had it? The same day I found out I was positive. It was an advocate on this side. My mom was on this side and I called him and I said, so when you was going to tell me? And then he said, tell you what? I said, so when you was going to tell me? And then he said, tell you what? And I said, nigga, don't play with me when you was going to tell me. Tell you, and he said it again, I said that you gave me HIV. And his response was, no, babe, no. I said, nigga, don't play with me. He said, who you around? I lied. I said, nobody. He said he knew he had it, and he had it for years. So I took that information. I gave it to Tallahassee Police Station. They investigated, and they found and we're back. Jasmine, damn, you didn't let me know what time we're going on. Child, I'm looking. Hey, y'all, we ready. All right, let's go on and get into white wine news. And like I said, we got a lot. Oh, before we get into white wine news, let's get into y'all news. Y'all do know that we are giving a, we are doing a Mother's Day giveaway exclusive, exclusively for all of the winos, okay? What we need you to do to participate, to win your basket, okay, of everything. Nice. You guys know, if you came to our TashaKLive.com event, you know what it is that we working with. You know how we do, okay? Uh, it ain't going to be a bunch of coupons and things like that. Although, if you like coupons, we may be able to figure out how to do work something out. Now, all you got to do is scan, uh, scan this QR code here, download Bigo using this link only. You cannot go download during the app using the App Store. Um, once you download, your name will be entered in, and Chelsea will let you know if you have uh, been chosen for our annual Mother's Day giveaway from our studio in partnership with Beagle to you. Okay, let me get my fork. I don't even feel right without it. Okay, make sure you scan the QR code, okay? All right, let's get it. In white wine news. Now, I know y'all don't know who they are, but I'm about to let you know. Let me put my wine over here because I'm going to save it until I cool off and I need some warming up, okay? Uh, Brian Johnson at the top, okay? He's an entrepreneur. I don't know what he does, but we'll figure it out here in a minute. But I've been following him for quite some time on Instagram. And Lord, let me tell you how my spirit work, okay? Because I'll be, I'll come across these people who, who just weird, right? I ain't going to say they weird. They just live different. Let's just say they live different because I'm weird. I live very different, okay? Like, I'm living in $4 million worth of debt. That is very different from everybody watching this show. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know a lot of people in that kind of debt unless you're in a different type of tax bracket, right? But listen, I'm still in the hood. Now, so I've been watching his, his story on Instagram, like, cause he's been posting his story. Now this is some AI borderline type mess. Bear with me here. So he's an entrepreneur and he spent $2 million plus to reverse his aging. Left fiance after her breast cancer diagnosis. She sues him. 
Okay. Now, Brian Johnson is denying claims made in a lawsuit by his former fiance, Taryn Southern, including that he forced her out of the home they shared when she was getting cancer treatments. Do you have a picture of the home that he live in? No, I sent you the photos, Jasmine, to your phone. Yeah. So, okay. So that's Brian Johnson there on the bottom and his son. The home is behind him. He got it somewhere deep in a valley built, not a, 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 away from any type of mankind and animals. Hold that thought, okay? Take it down. Go back to them. You know, I got to build them up for the story because they probably ain't even heard about this. But I be watching that white wine news and keep me a bottle too, okay? We about to downgrade the Boone's Farm and wine coolers here too. Uh, all right, now, he's a wealthy entrepreneur who, who spent who's been spending millions to reverse the aging process in his body and ha and to have the body of an 18 year old. Okay. I don't know who wrote this article here, but I think they are intern for people magazine. Okay. And he has been accused by his former fiance of leaving her after she was diagnosed with breast cancer and had given up a lucrative career to focus on his pursuits and their relationship. According to a lawsuit. I don't see. I told you it doesn't make sense. I'm just reading what they wrote according to them. OK, now he was a software uh, entrepreneur, Brian Johnson, 45, and the actress and content creator uh, Taryn Southern is 36, had a whirlwind romance, according to a suit she filed in October 21, obtained by People magazine. Now, Southern Taryn recalls in the document how her former fiance swept her off her feet taking her on lavish vacations, planning a forever future, and even dubbing her Mrs. Johnson, but never made her officially Mrs. Johnson, okay? Within weeks of meeting in 2016, by March of 2018, the pair were living together in Venice, California, and engaged to be married. Johnson promised to take care of her financially and medically for the rest of her life, she claims. However, a lifelong partnership with Johnson came with a steep price. Southern's attorneys allege in the complaint, which was filed in the Superior Court of California County of Los Angeles. I'm telling you, I don't know who wrote this. It had to be an intern for people. They may be running hard to on, on labor, okay? Now, while repeatedly telling Miss Southern to stop worry, worrying about money and promising to take care of her for the rest of her life reads a document Johnson demanded that Mrs. Southern's devotion of her time and creative energy to his personal needs and professional aspirations this Southern's attorneys claim left her financially dependent on her former fiance for two years while she was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Okay. And in 20 and in October, 2019, while Southern underwent chemotherapy, radiation and other treatments, Johnson demanded that she move out of the home that they shared for three years, according to the lawsuit. And by that point, Southern allegedly had no independent source of steady income to pay her growing medical bills, the filing states. She had no insurance. Now, I know uh, the, the Hope Church. What is they call that shit down there? And, you know, no, it's the Hope Church. It's the Holy Ch Church, and they give free medical care to people that, that have cancer. I had a friend that was on a chair breast cancer. They pay for all her stuff. She's still living, okay? So for those of y'all that saying you can't get no help, all you got to do is file the paperwork if you want to live, okay? They got plenty of wealthy people like Bill Gates and everybody, okay, that is um, donating to these hospitals, especially these public hospitals, because they don't want to get the money to the IRS, and they will use that money according to your income, and they will write off any bill that you have trust me i know because i've done it now back to the story at hand okay now i had no cancer or nothing i had a few procedures and you know went in there with no health insurance told them i ain't have it put my little income down i truly didn't have it they said ma'am you are free to go they get donors big donors okay so all you got to do is humble yourself just a little bit Take your pride out of it and just let them know Medicaid is not covering this procedure here, okay? Now, 
Uh, she also goes on to say she claims that in the suit that Johnson pursued her to give up her career and instead devote her time to working for him for free on branding, business development, speech writing, and film production. Now, how you going to have counseling and work for somebody for three and you ain't got no medical bills? I mean, you ain't got no medical insurance or nothing like that. Now, Johnson then took advantage of Miss Southern's weakened and vulnerable state and repeatedly leveraged his power and financial control over Mrs. Southern to try to get her to give up her rights and the promises she was entitled to, financial security and the stability in the future, and specifically to share in the anticipated success of his startup company, Reads the Complaint, okay? She's requested a jury trial and seeks millions in damages for the emotional uh, distress and financial losses. Now, let me tell you what's going on in White Wine News. Translation to Negro News, Okay. Brian got money. He got a lot of money. Show the picture again of his house. Now, what you're seeing here is Brian and his son outside of his house. What you're seeing up here is Brian, after getting the diagnosis uh, uh, from his uh, fiance of her having stage three cancer, he told her to get out. He quit his job, stopped pursuing film uh, and everything that he wanted to do as a software engineer and decided to go spend his money to reverse his agent on his life, okay? This man has spent $2 million. I need that, okay? I need just, just a little bit, okay? To knock back two years off of his life. Now they got some. Hold on, let me get on over to his Instagram because I, I, like I said, I was up one night. It was like three o'clock in the morning, and this man came across my social media, and it says that he spends his life eating right. He's completely vegan. Everything he eats is grown organically. He exercises twice a day. He sees these doctors once a month to run tests on him so that instead of him aging, he will age backwards even though he's uh, uh, 45 years old. But in this picture, he does look a bit over 50. What y'all would give him? I, I don't know, for $2 million for me to reverse two dollars, all I got to do is go see Dr. Miami. Shit, for 26000 And I'm looking a little younger, you know? But uh, hold on, I'm on Brian Johnson Instagram page right now. All you got to do is go to Brian Johnson. I'm telling you, this is the freakiest I've ever seen. So he got pictures of him getting vials of blood drawn. They run tests on him. He pays the money for them to run tests to find any cancer cell there was. So what happened was his girlfriend who got cancer because he thought he was going to settle down with him, scared his ass. Now, this is what you would call an extreme hypochondriac. You may have one in your family, okay, that's always at the doctor. I ain't always at the doctor. Last time I was at the doctor was three months ago. Jasmine. Jasmine gonna point at me. I ain't no hypochondria. I got allergies, but I ain't no hypochondria. This is a hypochondria, okay? This man, I'm counting right now on his page. He got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 22 vials of blood running every single month to make sure he doesn't have one cancer cell developing in his body. He also, hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He also is trying to figure out how to reverse his age backwards more than two years. He's trying to get 10 years, okay? He's trying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brian Johnson, pacing of age slower than the average 10-year-old is what his blood just gave him from this last post. Slower than 88% of 18-year-olds. He's in the 94th percentile of Crohn age, whatever that means, okay? Basically, what his blood is saying in that is that he's 31 years in 12 months, okay? Is what his, uh, what that called, gestational age? I don't even know. Mater paternal age? What is it? I don't know, okay? So he said, F the fiance, she bad luck. She gonna bring on a bunch of stress that he can't afford. And so he decided to invest his money into helping to reduce him and his likelihood of getting any sort of cancer. But he's just taking it just a little bit too damn far. Okay, now I want y'all to go on and on over to Mr. Brian Johnson page and just watch it. I mean, just the amount of money 
that he spins and the tests that he runs. He says there was a cheat code in Nintendo's original Super Mario Brothers to get unlimited lives. World, uh, world three to one. Longevity escape velocity for Mario and me. Blueprint is not about living forever. It's not even about targeting a certain age. It's about overflowing with excitement each night before bed for what will come tomorrow. Imagine if all of us felt that way every day. Uh, uh, section, I guess, Section 1, EO5, like Lewis and Clark, Ernest and Shackleton, Ferdinand and Megalyn, Blueprint is the venture to the unknown of human aspiration, a remapping of our shared potential. These are my field reports, and this is what the doctors say. I have now reversed my age three more years. I guess that's why the queen lives so long, the queen of England. Some they know something we don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, go ahead, Brian, but I'm going to tell this lady she ain't getting this money, okay? She ain't getting this money, okay? She better call the Holy Trinity uh, Church down there to take care of these medical bills and things like that because that man, being that y'all was not married, okay, and y'all didn't have no sort of contract, and he was able to evict you the right way because you left. And you left and took your behind down to the courthouse to add more stress to your current situation, okay? Because Lord knows lawsuits are stressful. Tell me about it. Okay? Um, yes, uh, sis, uh, you ain't got that much time, okay? But uh, if he was smart, he'll just drag it on until, you know, either he get hit by a bus or God say it's no more, all right? So I just, I want to see which one of them going to live longer, Okay? It's just too much. All right, moving on. The Obamas, Michelle said, y'all don't know how to be married, okay? Let's listen to what she got to say. Glamorize marriage. And in this day and age, marriage is more about the dress and the dresses. Yes. And the proposal and the honeymoon and all the stuff around it. And young people aren't ready for the real of marriage. So I think, once again, it's inc incumbent upon us people who have had successful marriages to be really honest about the fact that making a commitment to be with someone means you compromise and compromise ain't always fun. Yeah. And don't add kids into the mix because they really mess up your life. Well, we, well let's talk about <laughs> kids. Mm, mm, mm. And she's speaking to an unmarried woman who don't have no plans on getting married no time soon. Okay. Cause uh, y'all won't accept her marriage. That's all we're going to say. Her and Oprah will just be life partners, okay? Now, um, I agree with her. I really, really do, okay? I have so many friends, even family members, who have spent more time focusing on a proposal, on a ring, on a wedding, on a honeymoon, on a house, only to divorce and go broke three years later. And when they divorce, they trying to split up the debt of everything they occurred because they don't understand it's the debt that got them there. Everybody wanna say yes to the dress. I wore a pantsuit to my my to the courthouse when I got married. Okay, I didn't have an official wedding until last year in September in Mali. Okay, and I still didn't even pay for that. It was my mother-in-law. You understand what I'm saying? I kept my money in my pocket because I ain't have it to give. If I wanted a wedding, I would have had one years ago. But instead, me and Shaq decided to go to Marshalls that morning. Never forget, okay? He had me a little $600 ring made from males, proposed to me right out of the uh, slammer because I had just got out of jail for non-payment of warrants. I have a history of not paying shit. For real. I need people to pick me up on warrants that I have for three years. They was like, you going to give us this money. You got to come get it in blood. And they did. <laughs> They did, okay? They eventually got their little money, you know? But by that time, it had decreased, you know what I'm saying? You let it, you know. So, but in this instance, I'll never forget, like, I had got locked up. Matter of fact, he was on his way. I told this story. He was on his way to go propose to me. He had made a little reservation at Ruth Chris. Had got my little ring made. Told me to go buy an outfit, okay? So I was going over to the local Ross, you know what I'm saying, Marshalls off of Buford Highway to go buy me a little outfit. We had a car at the time that didn't go in reverse. 
You know what I'm saying? So that means we had to pull in the parking spaces. We could not park forward because otherwise we couldn't back it up. And I wasn't in the process of pushing nothing. So we just made sure we were able to pull out and be unblocked by people. One of the taillights was out on the car that didn't go in reverse. The police pulled us over. He was driving. He snitched on me and gave me, gave him my license. How you give him my license and I'm not driving? So Shaq gave him my license and they said, ma'am, step out of the car. I looked at Shaq. I said, what did you do? What did you do? And he said, he asked for your license. I got out the car. He placed me under arrest. I had my best friend thought at the time. She said, Auntie Tasha, go in the jail. I said, no, I ain't. No, I ain't. No, I'm going to get out of this because I was used to talking my, my way out of anything. But that officer, he was real nice and sir, look, we about to go to dinner. I don't know what's going on, but I feel something good in my spirit is going to happen tonight. And you just done, you done showed up like the Satan you is trying to lock me up. Now, I'm sitting outside of our little townhouse, okay? At the time, the people and the rats came out to see what was going on, okay? Yes. <laughs> They have since tur tor torn down that community because the rats take took over, okay? If New York City, I, like I said, they would ask what's going on down in the South, but how is it that they get rid of rats? You get rid of where they stay, okay? Now, um, he ended up taking me to jail. I went to DeKalb County, got extradited from DeKalb County down to Cobb County. They told me it was the weekend, you're going to have to sit. So I sat until Shaq got down, and I had only known Shaq two, three months at the time. So I said, damn, this man finna leave. I was like, he ain't finna stay. He was laughing at me when I called Collect to the house. I'm like, how you just gonna give him my license? He laughing. I was like, nothing funny about this. I'm dressed out in a sweatsuit, and they gave me a plastic Ziploc bag with pads in it and my period on, and I ain't using that nasty-ass bathroom. That's what I said. And I meant that, okay? Now, I had to eventually use it. I had to hover over the toilet. Imagine trying to clean yourself up when you on your damn cycle hovering over a toilet, okay? And you heavy. It's on your heavy day. Now, he eventually got me out, took me to Popeye's. I was musty and everything. And when we got to the house, after I got my chicken, I was greasy, musty, still hadn't taken a shower. He came upstairs and was like, you need to look in the bag and bring me some down. I was like, what bag? Because I cleaned out that bag. And he was, he was like, I just cleaned out my savings. And you mean to tell me what it is that I bought, you threw it away? I was just like, I just cleaned out the bag, sir. You didn't tell me nothing. I was like, Lord, let me get my clothes and just, you know, go on back over to the house I was living in because I was roommate with my best friend. I was like, let me get my shit. I done pissed this guy off. He done had to clean out his savings. I said, I'm going to get you your money back. Just wait. I'm going to get it back for you. Just, just hold tight. You know what I'm saying? Get in line behind the taxes. I got you on the 900 that you used to bail me out. Then he came upstairs. He was like, I just don't spend my last on you. You better look in the bag and, and find find what it is that I'm looking I, I don't even know what you're looking for sir and I just start crying I was like I don't know what you're looking for if you don't want me to stay up just put me out he said look at the bag and I looked in the bag and I said like, shit in this bag I shit in this bag and then he said look and I said I'm looking stop fucking with me and I looked over he had the ring I said did this I was traumatized and he thought it was funny which it was, because I never, ever forgot that proposal, okay? That was a $650 diamond ring, which came with a lifetime replacement of the diamond from Mayors instead of us going in debt, which we ended up doing three, four years later, and then again now. But still, you have to understand, everything ain't about money. Everything ain't about the dress. Everything ain't about the proposal. I was about to have a wedding until my family started laughing at the way his family was dressing. I said, we're not about to do this today. No, no, no. Y'all not about to say y'all done met these people in the forest. Won't let them in the house because y'all saying they doing voodoo because they from Africa. It was a, We just decided to go to Gwinnett County Courthouse, and it's been history ever since. And I say that to say, we've been married almost 18 years. 18 years, okay? Like I said, 
Now, I'm with Mo- Mo- Michelle Obama. A lot of y'all want the facade, but you don't want the work or the man. Moving on. Netflix about to catch a case. Let me tell you what's going on here. So apparently somebody, I don't know who, decided after Netflix done ran a trailer for Cleopatra, and Cleopatra is apparently play, uh, uh, played by a black woman in a story that they're trying to tell. Somebody done ran down to the courthouse in California to file a lawsuit on Netflix to say that they are mis... What it, it's not gendering. Miss color... What do you call it? Miss Miss Racing. <laughs> Sorry. Miss Racing who Cleopatra was. Okay? And they are suing for let me get the number. Hold on for a second. Y'all know I need my little glasses. See, when you got to go like this, that's how you know that age is, is creeping up on me a little bit, okay? Now, it's an Egyptian lawyer. It's suing Netflix. The bill collector's trying to call me. Sorry about that. I got a little got a little distracted. Egyptian lawyer sues Netflix for depicting Cleopatra as a black woman. Now, the last I checked, Egyptians in Egypt is in Africa. Right? Which means African, 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 whether you light African, white African, light-skinned African, black African, you still African black. Right? Okay. Now, um, filed a complaint demanding that legal measures are taken to block Netflix in Egypt to prevent African queens, Queen Cleopatra, from airing. Now, here's what I'm going to say. If he's able to do this, then we all need to get together as a people and sue whoever wrote the Bible and said that Jesus was white. (laughs) Can we get our money, too? They are just letting any lawsuit go through. They told us that Jesus had blue eyes, white skin. He was damn near ginger. Listen to me. But when you see where it say where Jesus is from, Jesus is near African, Middle Eastern. All that was Africa. Especially back then before they started the wars and stuff. If he able to get this, then we should be able to get what we we should be able to get something on what what the race J- Jesus is. Okay, let's go. YSL lawyers are being searched. Okay, now let me tell you what's going on here. Now apparently, uh, the judge said that some of the lawyers were slipping young thug perks because he was a little too happy, a little too perked up in court. They trying to figure out how he got it. They got the camera one day because they figured out something ain't right here. This man ain't all the way here. We trying to get him to focus, and he over there. You know what I'm saying? He's smiling at cameras. He know he live right now. He don't give a shit that he's facing 100 years, okay? He don't care that he got 600 YSL members ready to testify on his behalf. He is in a whole nother world. So they had to watch him closely. And when they watched him, they figured that it had to be either YSL members that are not testifying on his behalf, okay? Apparently, they caught them with reefer and stuff taped to the insides of their boxes that they was going to give the young thug the smoke that smelled like pure ass, okay? And and two, they feel that the lawyers is bringing in. So now, not only is the uh, YSL members being strip searched, okay, live on camera, they strip searching the lawyers and letting the jury see that. What you think the jury going to do? Huh? What you think the jury going to do? It was no different than my lawyers getting told to get to go back to law school in front of the jury. I said, oh, oh, whoa. I'm telling you, a judge over a case? Ma- Don't even get me started. He the landlord. (laughs) He the landlord. Let's go. Let's go. Who who next? Lotto. Now, um, Lotto has apparently, okay, dissed Coy LeRae for being skinny. I got a problem with this. I really do. I have a problem when people come after Glorilla, and I got a problem with people coming after Coy LeRae because these are very confident young women, okay? And I love that. Not everybody needs to get a BBL, Lotto, Okay? Not everybody needs to, you, you know, to, to act like they're deep throating for views. Nobody needs that for streams, okay? Now, I thought it was very interesting how she dissed her and said that she was, I think, skinny as a blunt or something. 
a blunt as fat as Coy Larray or something like that. And Coy, you know, she responded and said she wanted to fight, you know, because, you know, this was, you know, just it was it was too much. And here's why I'm going to say I'm on Coy's side. She just did a podcast what, three weeks ago? It was her first podcast. And on this podcast, this old lady here, this old white woman, said that her feelings was hurt because people said that she looked like an old white woman and she looked older than what she was. Now, even though they did not lie, for you to sit up there and say that your feelings was hurt and that it caused some type of insecurity in you, you're going to turn around and do the same thing to another woman and then you want to laugh about it even though she's natural. You're unnatural and you still look old. Your mammy gave that to you. You see the hypocrisy here? You see, you, you see it going on? I can't say hope. But somebody else can. And they win. Moving on. Let's go. Now, this is unbelievable. Okay? Now, now take off, rest his soul, has been transitioned for quite some time. And you would have thought that this would have caused them to realize that life is much more important than any other beef. They was beefing before take off, uh, uh, took off. And they are still beefing after the takeoff. Okay? Now, What's interesting is that, you know, they had that whole debacle at the Grammys and there was a tribute and Quavo decided to do the tribute by himself. Why? It caused, it, 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 it triggered offset. They fussed in by, backstage about who could be on stage, about who sung it was, and they should be coming together in honor, okay? Because at the end of the day, a mother has lost their child. And to see these two argue over something that obviously wasn't worth it, Okay, because now both of them are realizing that they've lost something that they can't replace. Because when you look and when you listen to both of their music it, and he doing a gospel album, now Quavo, I'm like, y'all have got to get it together. It's the confusion for me. You can tell when Satan lives somewhere. It's always going to be some confusion, and it's definitely going on. Now, instead of Quavo trying to focus on developing his sound, because he doesn't sound right, and I don't care how much auto-tune you do, it's just not doing what it's supposed to do. It's not giving T-Pain. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's not giving, uh, what's the, 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 the guy name that's, that's, that's blind in one eye? He got the eye missing. Fatty Wap. It ain't giving none of that. I don't even know who you are. And both of them have been trying to do separate albums, and it's not working because they each, it's just like, I think they thought maybe they, they were like New Edition. You know how New Edition decided, you know, they did an album. They came together. Everybody could rap. I mean, everybody could sing. And then they all did their own thing. And now they all coming back together because it's for a check. It's like it, they can make money either way. They ain't even figured out how to make money separate. And now your pride is in the way. He getting tattoos on the back. You feeling salty. And instead of y'all trying to figure out how to, how to get out of the red, okay, because now Scooter Braun owns your master's. You worried about the wrong thing, okay? You worried about just just fight, just fight, get it over with, and, 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 and get back to the music. Because Migos, I'm gonna be honest with you, it, I, I ain't listen as a rap group. They had it, used to. They had it. You put a Migos song on in the club, it don't matter what you're doing. It's like Future. You 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 you. Whether you want to bob or not, you got it. But them two separate, I don't know what the hell going on. Mm mm mm. Moving on. They have been in court long, trying to divorce longer than me and my sister-in-law have been trying to work out the, uh, this payment of the settlement, listen, of this debt. Um, Kenya Moore and Mark Daly, um, uh, Mark Daly are apparently been divorcing for six years, uh, but only married for four in Georgia. Georgia has a, you can get divorced in Georgia under a year. I don't know what's going on here. I feel that these two have some sort of contract going on to keep her in the divorce mode because it's like it's the only drama that she has the only she ain't got nothing else going on now apparently his lawyers just dropped him and i figure in my opinion she paid 
uh, for him to, to, to have the lawyers drop him so that they can extend it while she gets through this next season with the storyline. Then they're going to pick it back up. So I think he getting kickbacks from this, okay? That's all I'm going to say because I don't understand what asset. She had a house. You had a house. She had a business. You had a business. You had kids prior. You got a kid together. Split it up. Y'all keep what y'all came in with. Y'all was only married for, only lived together one, okay? You got a child together. As soon as you moved in together, you realized you weren't meant to to be together, okay, because it was more interesting when you were living in New York and she was living in Atlanta, okay, and it was just the thrill was there, but then when you moved in with her, you saw why no other man has stayed since. Now you want to back on up. Sir, listen, it's giving your tricking. It's giving your trick. It's, it's giving that you're tricking, okay? Moving on, let's take a break. Okay, listen, after the break, we got Jonathan Majors and Tiffany Haddish, Hazel E and Devon. Okay, Faith Evans, Stevie J, Blueface and Carlissa. She is now minus one child. Tokyo Tony crying. She wanting her only child back in the house. Okay, uh, trans women versus cisgender women. JT is now dating from City Girls, a trans woman. Uh, Erica Dixon, Scrappy and Bambi. We got some exclusive information on that. Uh, Derek Jackson and Denea. Another update on NLE Chopper and much, much more, okay? All of that after the break. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to hold that thought. We'll be right back. Let's go. It was your ex-husband whom you believe you contracted HIV from. I did. Okay. And so, and that is no no question about that. He was the one that gave it to you. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, he was sleeping with your father. Yes. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to go all the way back because that's a lot. That's a lot. And you're only 26 years old. When I was young, my mom was married into a family. I didn't really know my dad. My dad went to prison for touching on other people's children. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, okay. so he, is he a registered sex offender? Yes, he is. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, the fact that he's a bishop, and they were still like poking at him because he's a bishop and he's a registered sex offender and he's still a bishop. So when I say somebody believe in incest, meaning that they know that's their niece, they know that's their cousin, they know that's their children, and they sleep with them. Okay, so the cousin, he never penetrated you vaginally? Only my butt. What? And my mom, and God bless the day, my dad, um, they took me to my first appointment in Jacksonville. And I'm thinking, I'm just, you know, going to check on baby, and this is the first grandbaby, so everybody excited. So, by my mom being a prophet, it's like she knew something. And I didn't realize it until now, mm -hmm. but when looking back at my photos, I was like really skinny, and I've never been skinny in my life. You know, you were told that you were HIV positive. They didn't request that your husband come in to get tested, because normally they tell you to notify all your partners. Did you tell him to come in and be tested? No, I just immediately got the police in because he told me he had it and he had it for many years. When did he tell you he had it? The same day I found out I was positive. It was an advocate on this side. My mom was on this side and I called him and I said, so when you was going to tell me? And then he said, tell you what? I said, so when you was going to tell me? And then he said, tell you what? And I said, nigga, don't play with me when you was going to tell me. Tell you, and he said it again, I said that you gave me HIV. And his response was, no, babe, no. I said, nigga, don't play with me. He said, who you around? I lied. I said, nobody. He said he knew he had it, and he had it for years. So I took that information, I gave it to Tallahassee Police Station, they investigated, and they found out. Let's put the wine down for a second, because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract, because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order, or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Okay, y'all make sure that y'all like and sharing this video everywhere. It doesn't matter where you're streaming, okay? All right, and don't forget to scan the QR code and register for our Mother's Day giveaway, okay? We'll be putting together these nice exclusive baskets for all of the mothers, all right? Not everybody, just the ones that we, you know, to choose, okay? It helps to write an email as well. So, you know, just, just it's kind of like you 
audition, you know, you going on a job interview and instead of you leaving a job interview, you, you know, you, 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 you give them a little letter to say, thank you so much for even considering me. Cause you never know when they may have to revert right back. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. I don't know how Chelsea is doing this, but I do know she got hundreds of boxes over there and a lot of stuff that was sent that she's getting ready to mass mail out. Okay. So make sure you scan this QR code, follow us on Bego using this QR code only. That is the only way that you're going to be you're going to be uh, uh, scanned in, okay, and accounted for. And we'll, you know, get you your little Mother's Day gift out. Okay, I hope she got a box for me. She got a box for me? She better. She, I'm a mother too. <laughs> Let's go. Who next? All right, don't forget, real quick, check this out. Don't forget, at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be, we will be live streaming, which means I will be on the stream, okay? Uh, the... <laughs> I got to always read the, it's just a long title, okay? So, pregnant woman gets HIV from husband who she caught sleeping with her father, who's a preacher and pedo, okay? Uh, that is going to be coming up at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm live streaming it with you because I really want to see your reactions, okay? I want y'all to see this in 4K, and I want to see if you see what I see at the same time, Okay? So I'm just saying, I just need the feds to go and give me my job. Let's go. Jonathan Majors, okay? Now, he did. His lawyer is still messing up his case. Like, they released a photo of the woman. Uh, she is definitely white wine. And uh, uh, in a bar, apparently, after the alleged incident that happened between the two, when she went to look at his phone and he, you know, back up. You know, she real little. If you look at her compared to him, I mean, she tiny. She real tiny. She about the size of tiny, but just little. Like, she kept, she has tiny's original body, okay? Um, and so, you know, it's just after he released the text messages of, you know, her admitting that it was her fault as to the reason why he strangled her. She shouldn't have looked at his phone. Tiffany Haddish uh, decides to enter the chat. Okay, why? I do not know. Um, especially after given her situation with the children, you would think she would just mind her business. But no, 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 no. She wants to enter the chat and end up deleting the chat after she participated. It was kind of like, I'm here and I'm out. She said, somebody said my name. Somebody said my name. Okay, now uh, Tiffany uh, tweeted the video of the woman who appeared to look like she was not in distraught. Okay. Apparently she went to a bar and they said that she reported that her finger was broken and she was using her finger. She was texting and she put her finger, you know, she was using the, the same hand, the right hand to put her hair behind her head. And so that was supposed to be some type of proof after his talent agency has dropped him and he's been dropped from several movies and they are moving forward with charges and more white women have come forward. I'm sorry, white wine have come forward to say that they was hit too. I was hit too. Yes, sir, daddy. I was hit. Yeah. Daddy, he choked me. And daddy, he bust me in my lip. Daddy, daddy, he got me pregnant and just left me stranded. Daddy. Yeah, they're, they're telling me. So, um, and his manager who dropped him um, happens to be a, a white wine man too. And he said, uh, uh, that's like my daughter. You can't, these are like my daughters. My daughters are white. Ain't no way you finna put your hand on a white woman. Now, a black woman, we would have still been booking you. Okay? You would still be working. But obviously, we have to draw the line somewhere. You can't, you can't, you can't hit them both ways. You can't hit them in there and hit them in the throat. You can't do that. You can't do that. Now, Tiffany, Tiffany uh, got dragged again because she retweeted, I guess, showing support for him. And disacknowledging victims, once again, after she said that her alleged victims was trying to extort her, she feels that they're doing the same to him and decided to show her support and then reverted right back and untweeted uh, that their tweet saying she didn't say it. Prove it. <laughs> it wasn't me. Get somebody else to do it. Moving on. Up next. Ooh. 
Hazel E. and Devon Waller are d- divorcing. Okay, hold on for a second. I am actually setting up an interview right now as we speak. I'm working. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm texting my little producer. Okay, uh, it was a it was a high priority guess. So, um, who we on? Hazel E. Okay, now Hazel E. and Devon are divorcing. Okay. Um, and here's the here's the issue that I have with this, okay? They're both online, both begging everybody for money. Now, apparently, you know, he's he's upset. I don't even know why I'm even talking about this. This is below my pay grade. Now, I'm broke. I'm, I'm really broke, but this is really below my pay grade, okay? Um, saying that if Hazel got money, why is she asking for spousal support? So we look at the spousal support. The spousal support is only $1,000. I, I think he got it mixed up with, with child support because she got the baby. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, well, why is he, why, why are you tweeting this? Like, are you getting paid to tweet this? Like, this is not a high-profile divorce. This is not Kenya and Mark Daly. This girl ain't did. The only thing she's doing now is stuffing any and everything that she can into her ass to sell it as much as she can before she starts getting headaches and then she decides to revert on her Black China spiritual uh, uh, journey because it's going to happen. She's going to go reverse all that and say she's giving her life to the Lord and she's down there on the first row, okay, uh, trying to, to, to get the attention of T.D. Jakes or Joel Osteen with a last wide open. They ain't going to tell nobody. But I just don't understand. It's like, and the blogs keep posting them. Like, it's like me. Why do I keep posting them? It's, it's not even $1,000. I can see if he was, she was asking for thirty because I know you ain't got it. He wanted me to pay him 5000 to interview about Hazel. I said, but hey, yeah, everything's out on the internet. It's on the internet already. So what am I paying you exclusively for? Are you going to tell me that you actually hit the baby or something? What, 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 are you, what, am, what am I paying you for? So a lot of times, so you got to be weird and see, I'm going to be honest with you. There's a reckoning coming. Uh, most of these side Z list celebrities trying to hang on the young jocks, the little boosies, you know, they doing these reoccurring interviews, just saying shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, there's, there's going to be a day. You know what? I ain't got to say it cause it's already happening in real time. When that day comes, we'll talk about it. But I will tell you, it's the setup, though. It's the setup. <laughs> Moving on. Faith Evans and Stevie J. Now, um, I'm a little shocked at this situation here. Now, apparently, she called the police on Stevie J because he illegally took her, her Mercedes um, to Vegas, and he's not allowed to drive. Now, if you remember... I think we still in Autism Awareness Month. It's still April. He he uploaded a video in a in a van with her autistic son, and he gave him a bunny rabbit, a chocolate bunny rabbit to eat. And I was just like, so you allow him to drive your son around with no license, but as soon as he take your car, you want to call the police. Wouldn't you think your son is more valuable than your car? to be driving with somebody who's not allowed to drive because they don't have the proper paperwork. I'm like, it's the mothering and priorities for me. Who's more important? Your autistic son? That if he go to jail, he don't know your number to call you? Or your Mercedes? And that's big and small son. That's an asset. That's a whole asset in itself. Man got a trust fund. I would be more concerned about Big and Small's, you know, what they they call that when they they inherit, you know, the wine working. Yeah. Air. Yeah. So your your son who's Big and Small's heir who has a trust fund and the reason why you still allowed to pay all your bills because you ain't got it from daddy, honey. 
That's how you living. You don't call the police when when Stevie is uploading, giving him, uploading videos of him eating a chocolate bunny this big. You don't even control the sugar intake, knowing that sugar and, and red uh, dye number 40 and blue number 2 a- activates and makes autism system, uh, uh, symptoms worse. You don't care about all that. You just want your car back. Girl. See, this why they don't like me. Uh-uh. It's the priorities for me. But if she like it, hey, we love it. He brought that car back, though. He showed it. Moving on. Carlissa. <laughs> How does it feel for you? Let me let you got the video. Let me let him say it. I ain't gonna say it because y'all gonna say I'm lying. Let me let him say it. Go ahead, tell him. Go ahead, go ahead. What the hell going on? She don't heck. She you know she do spiritual work. The couple of them out here that do. Let's go there. Bring it back in. You know how you bring it back in. Hold on, y'all. We just having a little. Oh, about your relationship with your mom. Like, does she is she happy for y'all? Oh, Fuck that lady. <laughs> I don't have a mom. She's weird. She's strange. I don't know what her motive is, her angle. I don't know what she's trying to accomplish with her outreaches and whatever she does. I really don't. I really don't care for her. She's not in my best interest. So, what can I do with that? Damn. Yeah. Does it make you like sad that you know Hell she's no. not involved or? Nope. Not at all. I feel much less stress. Much less. You know, microscopic. Somebody like clocking me, so mm. no. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, what does that say? Do you have got? And Mother's Day is coming up, Carlissa. You should enter our Mother's Day giveaway. Put it up, Carlissa, because you're gonna need a box because two of your children have disowned you publicly in the last three weeks. They don't want nothing to do with you. They're not planning any type of Mother's Day festivities for you. You're not getting no flowers. You're not getting no card. You're not going to Red Lobster on Mother's Day. Okay? No one's cooking for you. But you steady out here on the internet dragging your own child because he refused to give you dominion over his little... Because you used to wipe it. Or butthole. Booty hole brown. Mm-hmm. What mother gets on the internet to say that her son, her husband's pen is bigger than her son? Why are we having conversations about your son's penis? It don't belong to you, lady. No more. You got a whole nother side over there that you could torture. And he'll stay because he needs you. He did a lot of years in prison. But this one here don't need you, don't want you, don't do nothing. Put up the Mother's Day uh, uh, thing. Carlissa, I'm going to need you to go ahead and scan this QR code. Download. Follow me on Beagle because I may go over there and drag you some more. And I, I want you to enter your ch- – I want you to go ahead and enter now for your chance to win a Mother's Day box that you will not be receiving from two – out of your three kids. You down two. You got one to go. What you gonna do? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Speaking of Mother's Day, this is the reason why she crying on the internet. Mother's Day coming up. You finna see these mothers get real emotional around here, okay? Go ahead. All I did for her, uh. being a whole fucking mother, bitch, a good one. I, I would love for her to tell me my faults, but I know my faults, my shit. And I, knew, I thought it was was gonna be faulty. She never mentioned. And I, I'm lost. I'm like, I put I had pistols, you know. Um, she ain't know my business because she had a, a good life, but mm. yeah. Roll it one more time. I got. I gotta have a lick of tongue out of me because I'm finished. Go ahead. <laughs> All I did for her, <laughs> being a whole fucking mother. What you do, bitch? 
a good one. A good one. I, I would love for her to tell me my faults, but I know my faults. My shit, and I, knew, I thought it was was gonna be faulty. She never mentioned. Mm. And I, I'm lost. I'm like, I put I had pistols. You know. Pistol. Um, Did she say she had pistols? She ain't know my business because she had a, a good life, but yeah. She said they be using the word good mother around here too loosely. <laughs> Donkey, I'm gonna need you to write a five hundred pay a five hundred word essay on what is the definition of a good mother and, and and what you did for her. Black China has been stripping since she was sixteen years old. She has been paying her own bills since she was sixteen years old. I don't know the de- and, and I'm telling you, this is all cap. In the words of your uh, uh, wise sales lawyers, cap, it's Mother's Day that's coming up. And she ain't going to be posting no motherfucking flowers. <laughs> that's what this is really about. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to see them get real emotional around here. It's, a different, it's the same way that wives, like Sorry Has Wives Act, you know what I'm saying, when it's, it's time for, uh, uh, you know, their birthday or, you know, Christmas or their anniversary, all of a sudden they love their husband. <laughs> They been talking shit to them the whole year. As soon as their anniversary come around, they know they got to post something to prove to their friends that they somehow happy, happy but no, everybody knows them motherfuckers ain't happy. <laughs> That's all this is about. What is Mother's Day? Next weekend? Next weekend. That's why she cried. Moving on. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Tokyo, put up the banner. Tokyo, I need you to go ahead and scan this QR code. And uh, download Bego. Follow me. Enter for your chance to win a Mother's Day box that you will not be receiving from your now saved daughter. Go. <laughs> okay. So in uh, politics, I don't know if y'all been following. Okay. Uh, the Republic, the House has voted. Uh, I think it was like two. 240 to 203, okay, in favor of real women, okay? I'm not about to use that word cisgender women. I don't even know. The LGBTQ is trying to add everybody in alphabet. Why? Why are you trying? Y'all supposed to be your own group. Why are you adding us? Uh, why are you adding a C for us? Why are you adding a C for us, the cisgender women? What are they? Huh? We're women. Y'all not. Now listen, uh, the ho- and the house said y'all y'all can't be participating in in female sports no more. So you gonna have to go over there and run with the 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 the, the people you came from, okay? You gonna have to so you running, you take your three legs on over there and you run the race, but you're not running with no wig on this year with the women. No, we're not cisgender women. We are real women. And how dare they try to even label us, giving us a point. We're not a part of the alphabet. Y'all are. That's for y'all. We don't get no kickbacks, no no type of set-asides from the government uh, uh, for federal contracts or nothing like that. We don't get no discounts or anything for being LGBT. We can't even get, we can't even get paid, to, uh, you know, to be guests at Pride. No. But the House of representatives said that y'all can no longer participate in things that are for women only. Y'all got to go over there for men only, okay? And the next is the bathroom. Y'all going back to the bathroom and where you came from. Moving on. Speaking of uh, 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 trans women and stuff, uh, JT, the city girl, is down uh, about four million like me, okay? Uh, she is now dating a trans woman. Okay, uh, so Lil Uzi Vert has officially changed his bio to them, they, her, and his name is no longer Lil Uzi Vert, Lucy Vert, Lucifer. It is now Leslie Chow. He's wearing wigs and pink hair and dresses and skirts, okay? Um, he is setting up his rise in the music industry because, as you know, once they start putting on the Gucci skirts, and things like that, black men go a lot higher than the normal man, okay? And so uh, I wonder what type of conversation they had uh, about this here. Um, and, you know, he's he's on his Bruce Jenner. I got to get to him. And she going to stay because she love him. That's her husband. She's sticking beside him. <laughs> Moving on. 
All right, listen, after the break, Erica Dixon is scrappy, Derek Jackson and Denea, and NLE Chopper, Marissa, and Sexy Red. All of that and more coming up after the break. And don't forget, at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be streaming live, okay, with the girl who gets HIV from her husband who was sleeping with her father who's a uh, pedo and her husband is apparently a pedo too but she didn't know all of that and more coming up and if you are not subscribed to TashaKLive.com to stream this interview with us okay you need to be because it's going down in the paint this is a very 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 different interview and uh, I know that you probably think that you're going to be triggered but I do ask you to watch this with a very open mind with a keen eye because I had I, I was not expected to do God's work in this interview okay so um listen we'll see you all that and more after the it break was your ex-husband whom you believe you contracted hiv from i did okay and so and that is no no question about that he was the one that gave it to you mm -hmm. and on top of that he was sleeping with your father yes okay we're gonna, we're gonna have to go all the way back because that's a lot that's a lot and you're only 26 years old when i was young my mom was married into a family i didn't really know my dad my dad went to prison for touching on other people's children oh wow yeah so okay. so he, is he a registered sex offender yes he is okay yes okay so um the fact that he's a bishop and they were still like poking at him because he's a bishop and he's a registered sex offender and he's still a bishop. So when I say somebody believe in incest, meaning that they know that's their niece, they know that's their cousin, they know that's their children, and they sleeping with them. Okay, so the cousin, he never penetrated you vaginally? Only my butt. What? And my mom, and God bless dad, my dad, um, they took me to my first appointment in Jacksonville. And I'm thinking, I'm just, you know, going to check on baby, and this is the first grandbaby, so everybody excited. So, but my mom being a prophet, it's like she knew something. And I didn't realize it until now, mm -hmm. but when looking back at my photos, I was like really skinny, and I've never been skinny in my life. You know, you were told that you were HIV positive. They didn't request that your husband come in to get tested, because normally they tell you to notify all your partners. Did you tell him to come in and be tested? No, I just immediately got the police in because he told me he had it and he had it for many years. When did he tell you he had it? The same day I found out I was positive. It was an advocate on this side. My mom was on this side and I called him and I said, so when you was going to tell me? And then he said, tell you what? I said, so when you was going to tell me? And then he said, tell you what? And I said, nigga, don't play with me when you was going to tell me. Tell you, and he said it again, I said that you gave me HIV. And his response was, no, babe, no. I said, nigga, don't play with me. He said, who you around? I lied. I said, nobody. He said he knew he had it, and he had it for years. So I took that information, I gave it to Tallahassee Police Station, they investigated, and they found out. Let's put the wine down for a second, because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract, because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order, or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. To the wild. All right. Don't forget, okay, to enter for your chance to win your Mother's Day box. Please DM uh, Carlissa and Tokyo Tony and tell them to DM this too because we got a box set aside just for them since their children won't be participating in Mother's Day uh, this year. But guess who gets a Mother's Day box? Lynette, do. <laughs> Lynette, if you know who Lynette is, hit the wine. Even though I don't mess with my mama, she said, I don't miss no Mother's Day. Now, for real. Now, certain things I don't I don't play with. So, she can, she can post her little person. So, you should have asked her to post what she got last year. You should have asked her. But my mama, she don't be bragging like that. You know what I'm saying? She know I be getting all that shit on the firm. Listen. <laughs> Download for your chance to win your Mother's Day in, uh, 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 gift box, okay? Chelsea putting together some nice packages and everything. Like I said, we got two set-asides. Tokyo Tony and Carlissa, worst mothers of the year, but we still love you. We we we, we giving y'all grace, giving y'all grace. Uh, NLE Chapa, okay. Um, he says that he doesn't care about being vegan, spiritual, or mature. I am protecting my name. 
uh, my character and who I am as a person will never leave. So he's quite upset about the woman who uh, he was with, who has a child with, and she's not pregnant with a separate uh, second child. He says the only reason he gave her the second child and paid for the second child is because she had a miscarriage with the first child. Uh, but he still remains single. Okay. Now Marissa up here in the picture is very upset that he keeps shooting his shot at everyone but her. Okay. And she's been alone during this here pregnancy. Okay. And she has had enough. Enough. Now, here's the thing. And she got upset at him shooting his shot over Megan Good. He said he didn't want to be in a relationship, but Megan Good is relationship material now, okay, because her, her, her pastor husband made her an official woman. She ain't for the streets no more. So NLE Chopper is trying to get Megan on board to his fake polygamous lifestyle. I don't even think he know how to spell polygamy, to be honest with you. A lot of these men be out here talking about I'm polygamy, spell it. <laughs> Go. I, go. <laughs> ah, if you can't spell it, you ain't polygamous, okay? Now, um, here's the interesting thing about this tweet, because, I, you know, my brain be getting to thinking. Because he says that he's, he's vegan, he's spiritual, and he's mature. And he's protecting his name and character and who he is as a person. Now, sir, if you vegan and you spiritual, why are you kissing this does this look spiritual to you have you seen her face I, I said this girl don't even wash her face she don't wash her booty hole she says brown she got pictures online her feet black and she fly from city to city catching curable STDs but he got the nerve to say what put, the, put it back up again he vegan, he's spiritual, immature. Being vegan, sir, here's my thing. If you're going to be a real vegan out here, make sure your partner vegan, okay? Because if you eating them, sucking on them, kissing on them, and they eating and slaughtering animals and stuff like that, you're unpure. You're not natural. There ain't nothing spiritual about that, okay? You got to be for the whole cause. Most real vegan people that really do this, they partners is vegan. It's just like us, you know, me and Sheikh, even though I'm not Muslim, he is. Ain't no pork coming in our house you got to have balance but because he he a polygamist but he can't spell polygamy probably can't even spell uh spiritual but he right here kissing booty hole brown flying from city to city catching curable stds ain't never been to a, a dermatologist nor a dentist sir so you eat this but you won't eat no I would rather give me a cow. Matter of fact, give me a pig all day. I'll take that. <laughs> Moving on. Whew. Now he out here cutting up. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. Danae look good. Ever since Derek Jackson has left, see when God move, removes certain things from your life that you've been trying to hold on to, you you come back because you ain't got nobody else to worry about. I wish we had that picture, Danae. Can you pull it out real quick? It's on her Instagram. Let me put it in your DM real quick. Hold on for a second. We got some time because we don't start our next show till 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, on TashaKLive.com. I need you to be there because some 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 some, some real is going down tonight, okay? Y'all going to see 2019 Tasha, okay? 2019 Tasha. Uh, sometimes we have to revive her, okay? And then I go back to 2023 Tasha, 41 years old, okay? I was in my 30s. Now I'm in my 40s, okay? Now let me send, I forgot to even send her this picture. But let me show you what, what God do, okay, when you when you get rid of certain men in your life, okay? All right? And when they're holding you down. Now I'm, I'm Jasmine, here you go. Hold on. For, do you just want me to screenshot it or just send it to the email directly? Okay, let me screenshot it. Okay. Let me screenshot it. Hold on for a second. Yeah, I want you to sh I want you to see what God has done in Danae's life because she is no longer wearing bonnets. She ain't thick no more. Hold on for a second. You wait. You just wait. I said, girl, I'm, I'm going to get this interview. Oh, yes, I am. Mm-hmm. 
All right, I'm sending it to the email right now, Jasmine. Just watch how fast we drop this down. A lot of this, you know, we curate the same day to make sure the news is as fresh as possible. So a lot of times we miss certain things. But just bear with me. Get your wine, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Just whatever it is that you're doing. Hold on for a second, all right? We're going to make sure that you are up to date and abreast on everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. There it go. Just load it up. J Jasmine, it says done. Go. Go. Show what God has done. You can even keep the Instagram up because I want people to go follow her. Look what God has done in her life. When you get mad and when you get rid of a man that's been sucking you dry, been using you to write books, to minister to other women that he's only trying to scroll, look at Danaya. Holla. I had to. You ain't never saw that shape before when she was with him. This how he had a dress responding to side hoes. Look at Look, Look at what God do when you let the devil go. Hold on. Now, I, I got to praise my sister. I sure do because a lot of y'all thought I was against it. Now, I, I was team Danae. That's why I told her how many women had been in her bed when she went to see her parents for the weekend. Listen to me. I told her when he was down in Miami with a chick that looked just like her. You know what? Hold that thought real quick. We got some time. We got 30 minutes. Let me send you a pinky because let me tell you something. This... Who he, who, the last one that we caught him with, this who she looked like. All Danae need is a wig and some fake lashes and cheap rainbow shoes. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me take, see, men, men be, see, men like this be hating. They be hating. Hold, hold on. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you what he like. Because Danae was once this. Danae was once what he was cheating with. Okay? Hold on. Hold on. You just wait. You just wait. Look at the, you, you tell me he got a type. And Danae, I never knew. I never, never knew. Who knew? Who knew? Wait a minute. Let me show you. Now, he going to be sick once she, once she decides to uh, allow God to really work in her life. Hold on for a second here. Hold on. Let me tell you. Because I was like, ain't no way. Everybody tell my Derek Jackson, fine. If y'all say that, okay, whatever. But here's the thing. Everybody said, why he with Danae? Why he look Danae? Listen. So then, and, and then he got Danae dressed in a bonnet, in a sweatshirt. But then he parading down in Miami, you know, sending scriptures and quotes that he got from dragging his wife to this one. Put them side by side. Put them side by side. Put them side by side. Okay? Now, this is what you call. Hold on. Wait a minute, Jasmine. Get it right now. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold that thought. Hold, we coming with receipts right now. We coming with receipts because I, I think he forgot what he had at home. He forgot what he had at home. She about to bring it back in. Give me just a second. Give her just a second, okay? Hold on. You got it, Jasmine? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here, hold on. Here we go. All right. So we're going to put them side by side. This is the side chick that he was caught in Miami with last time. And look at Danae. They both tall. They're both, they both got long torsos, long faces. Put them side by side. You look at them. One is a hoe, but one is not. How, how much different she look from the wife? Jasmine, get on the mic. You see the comparison? Yeah. You see it? Mm hmm But told her she didn't need to wear makeup. Told her she didn't need to wear no body suit. Told her she didn't need to suck no dick. <laughs> Told her God had her, okay? <laughs> but then went and made a deal with the devil. How you leave your wife for your wife? What the? F I don't know why men just won't admit that they love hoes. Why? Why? So that's why the wife got to be the hoe or have some background in hoeing? To be a wife, because otherwise they're going to go get somebody that look just like you and trick with them. Now, he's taking money outside the household, and he ain't have to do that. All he had to do was drive Danae down there to the local rainbow, okay? Have Tater come put her on a lace front, tell her to put the Bible down. It's not Sunday, and they going to Miami. Y'all better show some love to Danae, okay? Because she coming back. 
She coming back. Y'all don't even know she had all this, did you? But I guarantee you, the next one that pick her up, mm-hmm, she going to show it off. On. And Derek, what are, you, what are you tweeting? Go ahead. Let me see that tweet that Derek got right now. I'm talking about some of y'all, some of these girls out here burning sage. Uh, uh, are the evil spirits they're trying to get rid of. She evil because she she got a shape now and other, uh, other niggas in her DM. Put put the wife back up with the shape. That he talk about his wife because she the only one on the, on the Instagram burning sage. She the only one burning sage on. What, you mad because everybody see what you used to see, but you forgot that it was there? Uh-huh. Because you done, you, you done, you done dried her down to the point where she done forgot about herself. That's the narcissist that you are. And now all of a sudden you want to turn it around on her like she the evil spirit, but she was, <laughs> sir, sir. Devil done cost you lifetime child support for two children, okay? <laughs> and these side holes about to get pregnant right now. It's only a matter of time before they say, Tasha, Tasha, they be in a deal. I'm pregnant. By who? Derek. Oh, <laughs> child. He going to be like, it ain't mine. I ain't got it. Moving on. Y'all show some love to Danae. Oh, this chair. Oh, it's too slick. Damn. Okay. All right. All right, last but not least. All right, Erica Dixon, Scrappy, and Bambi. Okay, they've been all fighting on social media, and this is partly Bambi's fault. Did you find that video of Bambi that I told you to? You found that video? It ain't got no music with it, do it? Okay, now, Bambi, let me tell you something before you play this video. Now, Bambi is the reason why all this is, is going down, okay? She decided that she thought she uh, it was wise for her to argue with a whole child. Now, she has since separated herself from Scrappy because she feels that Scrappy uh, doesn't support her, and he's all about himself. She has three children now. She's in her 40s. Y'all didn't even know that, did you? <laughs> we revealing ages around here, okay? And she's hit a midlife crisis and her being a, a children to, I mean, being a mother to three children that neither one of them can barely afford to take care of. And so she wants to get out here and now pursue rap because modeling didn't work out. Um, they had no spaces uh, for horses. Megan took them off. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, so she's been trying to find herself after 41. And so she thought rapping was a good idea. Go. <laughs> I'm heavy in the streets, so I'm really living this. My hood thug my shit to the DJ's mix. And we don't ever pay a cent, they just spin my shit. Block bitches bounce the bam and I ain't even got a hit. And I don't need no rap right my shit. I'm still in the hood, this is real spit. Canary got a gang, Barbie got Wang, Bam got pop ghost whispers and things. Damn! <laughs> He chose me like goose, you bitches is duck ducking. I'm the Cali Connect. I keep the chickens cluck clucking. I'm not even a rapper. Acting's my shit. But Pac spoke to me, he like, baby, you the shit. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what a 16 is, so tell me when to quit. Shh, you heard him whisper? He like, let it rip. So I'm gonna keep going until he tell me to stop. I ain't hating no Nikki ever. I want her to be my girl. But she ain't. Man, she's stuck in the way. camera about to die. Mm. Oh, your camera Thank about God. to die? <laughs> My flow, you breaching. You saved by the bell, though, bitches. No, we say by the camera. Thank God that battery died. Now, listen. Um, so she left her husband because he doesn't support her dreams. It's not acting. It's 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 being a rapper at the graceful age of 42 years old. She has left her whole marriage to be a single mother to pursue rapping. And I guess Mona Scott, with this new direction that she's going with the show, she's following somewhat successful women to building their careers. And this is Bambi's storyline, okay? And so um, after Amani was online and Someone asked her about Bambi, okay? Amani said, don't ask me about that lady. That's none of my business. Bambi felt triggered to try to go in on a child. Do you have that video of the of the, of the uh, Bambi going in? No, I ain't going to put Amani up here because she's too young. She, she just went to her prom today, okay? We don't want her, you know what I'm saying? Listen, we don't do children over here. I apologize about that. That was my fault because I thought I had sent you the videos on Bambi, okay? And so Bambi decides to clap back at a child forgetting, okay, that she's 42 and you don't argue with a child child especially that's your stepchild just because she acknowledged you as that lady and then you leak uh uh video uh messages recordings of her claiming that she's having issues with her parents and you use that against her and then you post that on social media because you're mad 
that you lost your whole marriage and you have nothing to show for it. Okay. Now Erica entered the chat as she was supposed to like a mother, because I'm going to be honest with you. I would have entered the apartment complex that she at with them three kids in a two bedroom. Okay. And we would have had a conversation had she would have been on a uh, line about mine. Okay. Especially posting conversations and this child is still in high school and this child got to watch her friends listen to recordings that a grown woman done posted of her who was supposed to be a mother figure to her. If there was any chance for reconciliation between her and Scrappy, that's over, okay? And that's the reason why she issued her apology today. It's because Scrappy was trying to recon reconcile with her, but after she came for his child, he said, no, 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 no. What we had is no more, Okay. And so she now realized that she was too old to be on the internet triggered by a child because children are going to be children and children are going to have problems with their parents. And that doesn't make them bad parents. I don't know if she thought that she was going to make them look like bad parents and you barely have raised yours. Okay. Barely providing for yours. You only get paid seasonally for that little check that Mona Scott got for you and you got three children. And now you got to go down to the child support office to beg for child support from three kids. And he done learned to system now because guess what Erica done taught him the game so all he gonna do is issue himself a check for eight dollars and 48 cents an hour and you gonna have to split that for the three kids and pursue your rapping career at 42 years old while you're going through menopause and that's on that and that's on Mary had a little lamb and now we are headed over at 9 30 p.m to stream i will be live tashakaylive.com this interview on this little girl who claimed she got hiv from her pedophile oh, oh pedo i wasn't supposed to say that word oh god jesus see what happened see i thought i was on tashakaylive.com see when i'm on tashakaylive.com i can say words like that but i can't say that over here okay it's an automatic demonetization all right, we already got enough demonetization going on. I don't need no more because I need my little change, okay? Now, we're about to head over at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to TashaKLive.com to stream this here interview. Now, this girl, Brenda J., has been on the Internet for many years telling her story, okay? And for some strange reason, she couldn't remember the story that she told uh, many times before, okay? And when I went back to look at the other stories, each story was different, okay? And so here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going I'm to ask you to watch this interview with a very open mind. I thought I was here to hear someone come educate, but unfortunately it did not go down that way, okay? And if you are a member of TashaKLive.com, you did see the behind-the-scenes videos that kind of get you ready for what's to come. And here's what I'm going to say, okay? I don't know if she telling the truth or is she lying. I don't know. All I'm going to say is A plus B equals I don't know. Okay, and nobody gonna sue me saying that I, I said some shit. I ain't calling her a liar. All I'm saying is some stuff is just not adding up. Now, we love everything in there. We cut nothing. I want you to watch with open mind and open spirit. And if you see what I see, okay, if you see what I don't see, please let me know. And then whatever needs to be said and stated and apologized for, I do it. I come on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and I will issue the girl an apology. But for her to flat out here and, and, and wasn't prepared for these questions, I had an issue with that. It costs money to fly people in, especially when they need two seats. Listen to me. All I'm going to say, no, nah, because I'm angry. I'm angry. I feel played. I feel played. I don't like being played. All I'm going to say is, when you get on over there to TashaKLive.com, just watch. You see what I see, but if you see something different, if I'm wrong, I'm going to come right here and I'm going to apologize and I'm going to be humble and I'm going to say what I got to say, okay? And I do want to end with this here, okay? Because a lot of y'all keep DMing me and stuff. I wrote, I wrote something. Hold on for a second. Now, I've been watching a lot of Dave Ramsey, okay? Now, I know a lot of y'all are concerned about my money issues. Those are not your issues. You have money issues too. 
Only 1% of the population doesn't, okay? In order to be considered middle class, you need to make $200,000. I ain't got that. And a lot of us watching don't have that, okay? Now, I spoke with Dave Ramsey, and the reason I posted earlier today my list of debts is because Dave Ramsey, after watching him for so many years, he told me to attack the smallest debt first, and then the next uh, biggest debt, then the next biggest debt, and then you leave the biggest debt for last. And so the $4 million is the last to get tackled, okay? Because I got to knock off the other debts first. Now, he told me he about to mess up my whole life because I'm not going to be able to buy nothing for the next 15 years. And that's okay. But let me tell you something. I'm humble. He told me to be humble and to be frugal. But y'all out here talking about y'all want to go for me and stuff? Uh-uh. I don't do that. I, and here's the reason. I'm an honest hoe. And, and hoes were honest for their money. If I honestly made a mistake, that's my honest whole mistake. And I'm going to pay that. And if I can't pay it, I'm going to let them know. But I'll be damned if I let you use your money to pay for something that ain't honest. I see y'all at 9.30 p.m. It's the standard time on TashaKLive.com for this mess here, okay? And we messy. And for those of y'all that don't understand the type of mess we get in, it ain't for everybody, okay? Now I got to go. Advertise what? I got to go. <laughs> to TashaKLive.com. Subscribe on the website. Then you can download the app on Roku or anywhere and stream us in 4K. Streaming live, being messy, saying whatever you want to say, okay? Kai Sinek, come on live on TashaKLive.com. We got you. Buy all the prostitutes you want. Bye.